Life rarely ever goes exactly as planned. Rarely. Oftentimes, life will take you in a completely different path. A completely different direction you intended to travel. But, no matter what happens, I want you to have faith. Look up to the cross. See, let me explain the cross for a second. There's a reason why we look up to the cross and not down. When you look up to something, you're looking up to expectations. When you're looking down to something, you're looking down at the bridge. I want you to do something for me today. Look up to the cross instead of looking at your toes. Faith is needed. That in the end, not right now, but in the end, it will all work out for you. Faith is believing it will happen when there is no signs of it happening. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Faith is believing in your dreams when no one does. Faith is believing in the word of God. Faith is sitting in the middle of the storm in your life and still look up to the cross. And still being able to close your eyes and picture the sunny skies. Being able to imagine that the sun will rise in the morning. That's faith. Still being able to feel the better days coming despite the storm around you. That is faith. Sometimes you may need to risk it all for your dream to come true. Sometimes you pray, you fast, and you call your families together. To come help you, advise you, and and, and walk you through a hard time. But you need to have faith. And the faith that works. Have faith in your dreams. No matter what you have to sacrifice to get there. Sometimes we have to stay a little bit more longer in our knees. Sometimes we have to wake up in the middle of the night and ask God for patience. No matter how long it takes. I will have faith that it will work out at the end. Faith is taking the first step, the first step to believe that God is there with you in the storm. Even when you can't see the whole path, faith is trusting that the rest of the path will reveal itself in time if you keep moving forward. My brethren, I want to tell you a little bit more about faith. Because sometimes people confuse faith with just expectations. But you need a little bit more work to add to your faith. Faith is stepping out there and having a crack when the condition ain't perfect. We ask God for strength. We ask God for strength for tomorrow to wake up in the morning and be ourselves and go make some money and our jobs and, and, and preach the gospel. We need faith even to save souls. If you wait for the conditions to be perfect, To go after the things you want in life, you will be waiting forever. Let me get an example just outside the Bible. Albert Einstein once said, Only those who can see the invisible can achieve the impossible. Now, this word just means that you must have faith when you picture in your mind what will come to life. The lack of faith is the reason why a lot of the things you see in your prayer is not in your hands. I urge you today, you must have faith the struggle will pass. You should have faith because your time will come. Because when you believe in yourself, I'm telling you, you will be unstoppable. As a Christian, with the Bible, with God behind you, you will be unstoppable. There's no greater asset than faith and believe in yourself and the almighty God. If there's one thing you're going to take away from this video, let your faith be bigger than your fear. I repeat, let your faith be bigger than your fear. Remember, it may not happen immediately. Sarah had to wait. But just know that in time, it absolutely will happen. At God's own time, it will happen. 
Long term is yours. Just keep believing and never lose faith. Let me explain a little bit more about faith because sometimes we get carried away with just the expectation that comes with faith. Because there's something called a waiting period. God will always keep you in the waiting period. And one thing I want you to also understand is God is just probably preparing you to receive. When this faith is called believing it will happen, when there's no science it will happen. Let me say this right now. It doesn't matter where you are right now. Or who you have been. Or what your past have been. God count you worthy for a second chance. If you have faith and relentless desire to succeed, you really can achieve anything. Anything. Show your faith and God bless you. Amen.